We got some serious rain yesterday. All right, guys, get out of here. Good morning. Bernice. Good morning, Bernice. Fuzzy Muggins, I got a comb, Fuzzy. Let me comb your hair. I need to show you guys some mushrooms. I have not checked on the mushrooms in probably about a few weeks. And last time I checked, there was none. You guys are getting big. It's time to put you in our freezer. I wanted to show you guys some of these mushrooms. I haven't showed you guys our mushroom logs in a while. Our tomato plant, there's no tomatoes on it, so we're basically growing leaves. Still have some peppers growing though. The creek is flowing pretty good today. Lots of rain last night. <laughs> Look at all this guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at all these mushrooms growing. Woo! It's been a few weeks, maybe even two weeks since last time I, I saw this. And there was nothing. There was nothing. And so within maybe about a, t a couple weeks, we got shiitake mushrooms. Let's see. Got some leaves on there. Look at that. We inoculated these logs over a year ago. I'll leave a playlist that where you can watch where how I'll show you how we did this. Um, amazing. We have three logs here. I want to do more different kinds of mushrooms. I think would be cool. Look at this mushroom log. Wow. That's the biggest mushrooms I've ever grew. Now some of these don't look too good. I'm not going to eat those. They look a little soggy. And I'm I thinking that I kind of waited a little too long to harvest these. That should have done them maybe a little bit younger, maybe even a week ago come out here. But I think you want to get them a little bit younger. Some of these are really good. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these. That one's still really good. We got these mushroom plugs from Asheville Fungi. All right. <laughs> Basket full of shiitake mushrooms, guys. Oh man, look at that. In the springtime of last year is when we inoculated these three logs with my buddy Tyler. All right, I'm at my friend Tyler's house and uh, we're about to do mushrooms. Yeah. Well, sh sh grow mushrooms? Is that the term? So we're gonna inoculate some logs <laughs> there we go. with the hope there we go. of them spawning some shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. It's sometime in the next six to 18 months, so. Well, Tyler, he's been going through some stuff right now. Tyler has been going through some chemo treatments uh, recently. And I, I, if you're watching Tyler, man, I'm praying for you, man. Hang in there, keep hope, and you'll get through it, man. I know you will. But if it wasn't for Tyler, I would not have inoculated these mushrooms right here. And if you guys can, leave a positive note down below for Tyler, rooting him on. Because Tyler, man, I love you, man. We're rooting for you. Go check your mushrooms. <laughs> These mushrooms didn't look too good. Let's see if the chickens will eat them. Hey, chickens. They might not. No? No mushrooms, guys. You guys are not mushroom fans? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if pigs would eat mushrooms. I wonder... Can pigs eat mushrooms? I don't see why not. All right, we've harvested all these mushrooms. You think they're still good? <laughs> they're a little overgrown, but we should try them. They feel soft. Yeah, I think they feel soft. I mean, there's some. Um, there were some soggy ones that I had to throw away. Oh, did you give them to the chickens? Yeah, they didn't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at Mr. Google. And they are shiitake mushrooms. They're just a little older. 
like I said before, like we should have harvested a little bit younger. Um, but not to say you still can't eat these. We can still put these in soups. They're super beneficial, healthy for you. But yeah, we'll probably wash these up and dry them and then uh, chop them up and use them. All right, the rain's mowing the lawn. This might be the last mow of the year. Let's hope so. Eventually we're gonna put our egg layers back into their little chicken run here that we made this year. Something on the lens there. There you go. I don't know, maybe we might put a, a proper fence around this thing because this is a portable fence and this is not ideal because everything is all grown and you can't use it the proper way with the, you can't electrify it. So I'm just gonna undo this so I can mow all around it, get it ready. It's all overgrown there. We just need to get it ready for the chickens to come back in here. You don't want to wait till the grass is overgrown before you take this portable fencing around. Because it just makes it a lot more harder. Alright, so now we have a big tangled mess of a fence here. Who wants to come over and untangle this for me? But look at this. Big old thick layer. Eventually this is all going to be compost right here. I need to knock down some of these grasses before we put it up. And then maybe I'll make a fence this winter. I don't know. of a lot better you mow the lawn so we still need to put that fence up and I need to undo that big knot I didn't mean for this to be a, a yard cleanup day but sometimes that's just how it goes all right this is where I store all of our chicken tractors this is our my very first chicken tractor or chicken coop because it was just way too heavy to move you know what I'm gonna show you guys our first YouTube video I'll leave that link down below it features this uh, chicken tractor I'll leave that link down below it's a fun little video very first YouTube video I'm gonna move these guys again 